We're given a table, and this covers uh, people's opinion on crunchies, a uh, new snack food, and we have their ages and whether they liked or disliked the food uh, or had no preference. And we also get a bunch of totals. So it's a lot more information than we're probably going to need. One consumer is selected at random. So we have no idea what their age is, whether they liked or disliked or had no preference. So one is selected at random. What's the probability that the consumer is 18 to 24 years of age, given that he or she already dislikes crunchies? So we're narrowing it down. They already dislike crunchies. So we're definitely in this row right here. So from this row, so it was already given. So that wasn't already going to happen. So now what's the probability they're 18 to 24? So again, we want to think about favorable divided by total. And here favorable, well, let's do total. Total sitting right there, 204 is total. Now again, that's only the dislike crunchies total. It's not the total number surveyed overall, which would have been 500. It's only the ones that dislike crunchies or crunchsicles. How dare I? Crunchsicles. All right. So how about favorable here? So 18 to 24 is what we're looking for. There's 42. So the answer to this would be 42 over 204. All right. We're ready for part B. Um, that'll be the reduced version. Part B, probability selected uh, consumer dislikes crunchies, crunchsicles. So, so you have to ignore everything in part A because part B is totally separate. So I'm going to reread these instructions and then look at part B. So one consumer is selected at random. What's the probability that the randomly selected consumer dislikes crunchsicles? So one selected at random, nothing to do with ages. So we can look at just this total right here. Dislikes. So that's favorable in this case. Favorable is 204. Uh, and the total is 500. And reducing that, it'll definitely reduce 51 over 125. All right. So we're going to go to part C and D. We'll do C next. So now again, ignore A and B. Just think about one consumer selected at random. And what's the probability that random selected consumer is 30 to 55 years old or likes crunch sickles. So 30 to 35, uh, 35 to 55. 35 to 55, or likes crunchsicles. So what I'm going to do is highlight everything that's favorable. So every, all right, let me get the yellow pen. There we go. So this is all favorable here. Now I could highlight the 86, but what I have highlighted, if I add them up, already adds to 86. Now likes crunchsicles is all across here. And again, I did not highlight this total here. So let's think about favorable here. Now we have to add all the yellow numbers. And if you remember, if I added these two totals together, I would have double counted 12. And we'll come back to that idea in a minute. So ignore that the 12 is double counted. The other way, it's okay the way we're doing it right now. I'm gonna add these six numbers together, two and 24, 12, 105, 45 plus 29. All right, whatever that adds up to, that's the number of favorables right there. Uh, the total is 500. So I could do that divided by the 500. Maybe I should add these up. Oh boy. All right, 105 and 45, 150. Uh, 2 and 24 is 26, 38. And oh, 188 plus 
29 is a lot. 7. So I get 7, carry my 1, 8. No, I'm doing something wrong. 8, no, leave that 1 there. 2, 11, carry my 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 217, that's the favorable. 217 over 500. All right, so that's one way to do this. There's another way to do it. I could look at the totals here, but remember I'm double counting 12. So if I add up these two totals, I have to do 143, and I'll do this separately. 143 out of 500 plus 86 out of 500. If I add these two together, I've double counted 12, so I have to take out that 12 that I would double counted. And this idea of taking out what's in common, taking out uh, what, let's see. Here we are, this is the addition rule. So it's probability of A or B equals the probability of A plus the probability of B, but back on the screen but we have to remove what's in common. So that would have been that 12 out of 500. I got to remove because A and B were not usually exclusive. And that's why I have to remove that last bit. So again, lots of ways to answer this question. As long as you're careful, they should come out to the same answer. I don't think that reduces. There we go. All right, part D. So again, independent from the other parts. If a consumer is 70, so it's they are 70, that's not, um, that's not asking uh, a probability there. So they're given that they're 70 years old, what's the probability that he or she likes these Crunchsicles? So the consumer is 70, so we're in the 55 and over. So we're only considering these numbers. What's the probability they like Crunchsicles? So it's a 105 is favorable, and now total, 296. So this will be 105 divided by 296. 